Hi, this is John Sinclair with Kevin Gorm for the local music show, and we've got a fairly busy programme between now and seven, haven't we, Kevin? We have indeed, and very eclec- eclectically eclectic. <laughs> that's not a first e- word. That's not a good first word to choose, is it? Really? No, eclectic. Yes, that's it. That's the one you want. Yes, a very wide mix of, of stuff going on, and uh, so with us in the studio is indeed our first guest, Lil T. Welcome, Lil. Lil, do I call you Lil or do I call you Lil T? Little. Little. I said that. You see, he argued with me. I thought it was as well. So thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay. Now, you're quite young, aren't you? Yeah. How old would you say you are? I'm eight. Wow, that's amazing. When are you nine? Um, January the 9th. Oh, so a little while to wait then. Yeah. Crikey. So you get Christmas presents and then birthday presents. That's quite good, isn't it? (laughs) Yeah. That works well. But, but you're actually a pretty good rapper as well, aren't you? Yeah. As, as we're going to hear in a minute, um, you do your own songs, your own music. Yeah. And ri- do you write your own lyrics as well? Yeah, I do it with my dad. Wow, that's brilliant. Your dad's here in the studio as well. Hi, that's Tion, Torian. 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 <laughs> Hello there, Torian. Hello. So, I presume you manage Lil T as well, do you? Uh, no, I'm trying to sell him. Oh, right, trying to sell him. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anyone's listening, how much is he going for? A uh, C- couple of donkeys and a, yeah, and a camel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so <laughs> so how long have you been doing music then, Lil T? Um, six or five months. Really? Blimey. Oh, OK. What made you get into it? Did your dad... Because I know you come from a musical family, don't you? Yeah. And did anybody persuade you, or was it just something you wanted to do? No, it was just a joke in the car. Really? A yeah. joke in the car? Yeah. So how, how did that go then? Um, we were just messing around in the car and we were listening to the Crepton Conan Don't Waste My Time track and Dad said, make up your own words for a chorus and then we just made a track. And it went from there? Yeah. Wow. OK, well, why don't we hear one of your songs then? Um, let's play Don't Waste My Time. Now, can you just tell us a little bit about what that's about? Um, that's about school and homework. <laughs> and boring things like that? Yeah. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Let's hear it then. Yo! Yo! <laughs> I bet you I thought bet you I was going to go in, didn't you? I thought I'd just I send my little troops in for you. Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, feeling yeah, it. Feeling it. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Little T, T, get on. Keep chatting stories. Tell her don't waste my time. Nah, nah, nah. Mrs. Court me detention. Tell her don't waste my time. She don't like my writing. Tell her don't waste my time. Nah, nah, nah. I am only letting yours is just like mine. Get up for school. Have my 12 hours sleep. Get up for breakfast. And watch the BBC. Can't be late, get soaking at night. If the teacher catches me, I'll be out for the second time. That's taking long, so we've got to move quick. So we're speeding, straight school in a German whip. Now I'm in class, the test I need to pass. Then it's out for dinner, Dad's got to treat the winner. Phoebe's writing poems. Tell her don't waste my time nah, nah, nah. Mrs. put me detention Tell her don't waste my time Ooh, yeah. She don't like my writing Tell her don't waste my time nah, nah, nah. I am only eating Yours is just like mine Ooh, yeah. The bell rings bell ring. I'm out for break, I'm out for break. Playing football <laughs> With all my mates Mrs. 
caught me detention. Tell her don't waste my time. She don't like my writing. Tell her don't waste my time. I am only it, and yours is just not mine. Yes, that was brilliant, that was. Did you write all that on your own then, Lil T? Um, yeah, with my dad. Really? Yeah. Wow. Who came up with the backing track as well? Yeah. You Did you come up with that backing track? Or was that your dad? Or the, the music part of it. Yeah. Music. How does that work? Um, it was my dad. All right, he's quite clever, your dad, isn't he? Maybe, yeah. Are we going to get him to say something? So uh, the, the backing track part of it is quite important, though, isn't it? Because he's got he's got to have something to to rap over that works. Yeah, um, I've been making music for years, so it was fairly straightforward yeah. for you, was yeah. it? He's he's more shy than you, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed oh, yeah. that. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like talking, does he? Oh. Well, what do you, what do your friends think about you rapping? Um, you? they think it's good. Do they? Do they help you? Because obviously helped they helped you in the video, I think, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, and the school as well. Is that is that? Do they support you? Yeah. Because that's the other thing. I mean, you spend. Do you spend a lot of time rapping then, and then less time on your schoolwork, or do you always oh, make no, sure you you've got time for your schoolwork? You work? don't want to say you do that. <laughs> I make sure I've got time for my schoolwork. Good yeah, lad. That's right. <laughs> there's a la- there's a lady coming in the studio. Can you tell us who's coming? Um, it's Saline from City Link Up. All right, an important person. Yes. <laughs> Should we salute her? Am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saluting her now. Look, look, look. <laughs> has, she, has she got you some gigs then? Um, yeah, she got me some shows. Oh, okay. Which is the best show you've ever done? London Carnival. Really? Yeah, was, that, was that Notting Hill Carnival? Yeah. Blimey, you did Notting Hill. Yeah. Was that? that was quite recently, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. What was it like to do that then? It was amazing. Wow. Did how, you, how are you going to better that? <laughs> it's kind of hard to know, isn't it? That must have been fantastic, though. Yeah. Did you get lots of kids on stage with you and stuff? Or, or is it just you on your own? It's just me on my own. Wow. Uh, and uh, as far as the video goes, uh, everybody at school wanted to be in it, I guess, to the track we just heard. So uh, we were just saying uh, a minute ago that everybody wants you to make another video now, don't they? Uh, it's kind of pressure's on to do another track now, is it? Yeah. We got any ideas for new stuff? Mm, yeah, we've got quite a lot. Oh, uh, you see Dad smiling at me. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, presumably, you'll just write about real-world situations like you do, like school and things like that, so it'd be quite easy to, to write about that sort of thing, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I was just saying to John earlier as well, as, as you get older... Will you change your name from Lil T to like medium T or big T or old T <laughs> or will it just say Lil T? It's using the jokes we did before <laughs> s- before six o'clock. I don't know. You don't I, have, that I mean, to be honest, you don't have to worry about that for now, do you? No. No. No, that's true. Okay. Are you going to play any festivals in Leicester, though? Because you've done one in London. So what about Leicester? Yeah, I've done Leicester Carnival. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, wow. What was that like? That was good. Okay. Have you got any coming up? It's kind of end of season now, I guess, is Festivals. it? Festivals. I don't know. Ox Jam. Are you going to do Ox Jam? Oh, yeah, I've got oh. Ox Jam. In fact, we've got an interview about Ox Jam coming up. Yeah, so mm. that'll and be one good, one of the organisers, isn't it? Yeah, we're previewing that tonight. So, yeah. uh, do you know what, what venue you're playing? Anybody else know? It's Havana. Havana. Yeah. You're playing in Havana. On the okay. urban stage. On the urban stage in Havana. Thanks very much for that. That's the City Link Up stage, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's not. And his dad's playing. I know his dad's very, very quiet. <laughs> yeah. He's known as Ooze, and he's a very talented producer and artist himself. And okay. he will be performing there, and I think him and Little T might be doing something together. <laughs> oh, <brilliant. laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> the dad's very shy, isn't he? Just smiling away <laughs> yeah. in the background. It, he's letting his son do all the talking, which, <laughs> which is good. Uh, it's a, his son with it with the headphones on, so it looks very professional, don't you? Little T. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All right. And so, what about ne- what about next year? What about plans? Do you have any plans to be in a band or just or carry on making rap music the way you're doing at the moment? Um, carry on making rap music at, like I'm doing at the moment. And just see where it takes you. Yeah. And what about recording in the studio? Because obviously, I think you're used to wearing headphones. Because clearly, you've got to do that when you're recording. Do you find that? experience is it a home studio or do you go to a proper studio to to do it we go to a proper studio so that's great fun i would think do you take some friends with you as well 
Um, no. No? Just you and your dad, eh? Yeah. Okay, so producer's quite important, so you, you got somebody looking after you and stuff, yeah? Yeah. In fact, that's good fun, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Do your friends ask for your autographs yet? Um, no, not yet. Oh, they, w- they will do soon, won't they? Uh, could I have your autograph? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> he's, he's laughing, but I'm serious. <laughs> uh, you could be very famous later on, and I've got your, your autograph. Well, when we, see it, when we see it Ox Jam, you can give us one of your CDs, and then you can sign that as well, couldn't you? Yeah. That'd be nice, thanks. Have you practised this autograph? He's doing the autograph now. Have you practised this? Um, no, not yet. I'm going to practice that. OK. All right, thanks. Oh, I've got a kiss as well. well. <laughs> a kiss? It looked like a kiss. A little kiss. A little tea. Oh, Is that a tea? Yeah, <laughs> that's a, it looks more like a kiss. But hey, well, I'll take it anyway. <laughs> Should we play a second song, then? Um, Just Being Me. Now, can yeah. you tell us a little bit about... I suppose it's quite obvious what that's about, but what, what sort of inspired it? What's, why um, did you write it? And... It inspired me from my dad, because dad d- did the track. Oh, right. Mm. Oh, OK. All right, that's brilliant. He's a boy who does what he's told. But yeah. it. Here we go, then. A uh, uh, little tea, and I'm just being me. Yo! Yo! What is this crazy rock and roll music, anyway? It's little tea! It's little tea! So that was brilliant. Have you got any more songs, Lil T? Um, no, not yet. Oh, so that's two. You just got two. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not bad for a few months' work, though. Are you? What, do you think you'll have enough for an album at some point? Yeah. But not just yet. What? I, oh yeah. I've actually got an album. Oh but right. I just have you? haven't released it. Oh, uh, okay. secret. Oh, brilliant. Mm. <laughs> 
So how many songs are on that then? Um, 13. Wow, 13. Yeah. When do you think you'll be releasing it? Um, I don't know. Christmas would be good. Yeah. yeah. Time for Christmas? Yeah. And then people can give it to each other as Christmas presents. Yeah. That's a good one, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> we're, we're now working for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you can do an EP, uh, LP release gig as well. That'd yeah. be good. Actually, what, what, as a youngster in Leicester trying to be, trying to make his way in the music scene, what do you think Leicester's like? I mean, do you get a lot of support? Are there places that you can play in Leicester? Or is it difficult to do, do gigs? It, um... He's thinking about that one. Because I know the... It's a ven- difficult... That's a fairly difficult yeah. question, actually. Oh, right. Oh, OK. Because I know some venues, like The Shed, do, like, a Saturday afternoon uh, matinee for young, uh, young people. So mm. you, you could perhaps do something there or something. I yeah. think that's down to Dad as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, get down there. Yeah, 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 get, get down there. Okay. Okay, well, thanks very much for coming in. It's been great to meet you, actually. And yeah. Um, and thanks for the autograph. <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you at Ox Jam. <laughs> and thank you, too. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. All right. Okay, Kevin, what are we doing now? Oh, let's play a little song by the glam punk band that we've... Oh, no, no, hang on. This is a rock song, isn't it? It by is. Dead... Speaking in italics. Speaking in italics. That's it. That's the one. I knew that. <laughs> Here it is then, and uh, we'll have an interview about uh, Oxjam to come after this. Ascension and the bottom of the well Air is thinning, the warmth escapes steadily Order ripples invitingly Crashing tideways, breaking over me Crunching over the sense of direction
out of speaking in italics, one of the bands that's going to be on this year's Ox Jam. And here with me, I have Elizabeth Barker Carley. Yes. Yay! Welcome. <laughs> you got it right. Hi, thanks for having me. Hello there. And you're one of the main organisers of Vox Jam this year, is that right? I am, I am. I'm the takeover manager. So Anna Webb was previously the takeover manager. She's gone to Australia, she's living the dream, and she's handed over the reins to me, which is very exciting. Okay, could you give, give us just a little bit of background information about what Ox Jam's all about? Because it's like a national thing, isn't it? Yeah, so for those who don't know, Ox Jam is a monthly music festival event in aid of Oxfam, and every city has an event called a takeover, where there is a takeover team run by people like myself, and we literally just take over a lot of the music venues within a city, and this year uh, we have 16 stages, about 250 acts programmed, and we're hoping to smash our target of uh, £13,000, which is the amount we raised last year. Wow. So I'm hoping for at least 15. And am I right in thinking last year was a record-breaking amount as far as the Ox Jam is concerned? Or was it the year before? The year, the year before was record-breaking. The year before was about 20000 Last year was 13000 So this year I want to get it back up to the yeah, 15000 mark. It. It's your job now. I know. The pressure is on. <laughs> and what about the number of venues taking part? Are you trying to increase the number of venues all the time? Um, I don't want to increase them too much because it is is myself who's running the production team as well we don't have a separate production team this year so I don't want to have too many venues involved because I think I will implode from the stress of it all but no uh, we have expanded out this year so um, along with the venues in the cultural quarter so the sound house the shed the exchange Manhattan etc that we had involved last year this year we've expanded out to include Duffy's Bar which has recently reopened Fireberg and the Criterion uh, who are going to be hosting a live comedy night for us there. And what about the acts themselves? Do they come forward naturally or do you have to kind of get them out of the woodwork a little bit? It's, uh, it's a bit of both, actually. We have been inundated with messages this year through our Facebook page with acts asking to play from all walks of life and all genres. And then some of the other ones, I've had to actively seek them out and say, you know, do you want to be involved in Oxjam this year? Just because they haven't been aware that it's that time of the year again. But we're nearly there. We've got about five slots left to programme. And, and that's it. <laughs> is it open to any band then? So. It is. It is open to any band, apart from those of the kind of heavier genres, the heavier metal. Yeah, and the more extreme. Side. Yeah, we just don't really have the venue space to fit them in this year, and uh, you can't really put a heavy metal band no, next sure. to a ska band. Doesn't doesn't really make any yeah. sense. <laughs> so, so if there's five bands uh, listening, then if they want to apply, how would they go about doing it? You head to our Facebook page, so facebook.com forward slash Oxjam Leicester Takeover. Just send a message in with a bit about you, your location, a couple of links so I can listen, and we'll see if we can accommodate to you. And, and, and also, you tend to have uh, stages outside the curve as well, don't you? Outside as, as well as inside, so to Yes, speak. yes, that's our main stage in Autumn Square. So we have um, a big food and craft fair again this year, and we're hoping to expand the numbers on that as well. So anyone who runs a food or craft stall or a vintage stall or anything that you do that you can put on a stall or a magician, anything, really, please get in touch with us via the Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Oxjam Leicester Takeover. And just send us a message because we'd love to have you involved just to create that atmosphere and raise a little bit more money so I can get close to my 15,000 target. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And more, hopefully. Mm. So am I right in thinking it, most of it's based around the cultural quarter, then? The majority of it is, yes. It's just easier that way for us to have the more festival environment. So our hub is Alton Square, and our box office is in the exchange, as it was last year, and then Manhattan 34 is involved, Ale Wagon. LCB Depot are involved this year, which is great. We're really happy about that. Havana, we've got an urban stage, the shed, of course, involved. Um, then the sand house and uh, the car, the car are involved again as well, but just not on as big a scale. But throughout the day, that's why we want to keep the majority of the attendees to just really create that atmosphere. And then later in the night, that's when we disperse out through the city a bit more, down towards Fireberg, Duffy's and Criterion. Yeah, and I guess the message to people is to get there early as well, because some of the acts have to play early. And I suppose getting a crowd early is sometimes more difficult. So you want people to come down as early as possible, don't you? We do. Well, the main stage kicks off at 11.45am, 
Uh, that's in the morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're not used to that, are we? No. Uh, that, yeah, that's outside. And then we've got live music programmed in from midday from the majority of the venues as well. And we are starting things off slightly softer with a lot of acoustic acts and then going to the more full band yeah. in the afternoon. But I do urge anyone who's listening to get down there as, as soon as you can in the day so you don't miss out on anyone. And 16 stages and it's only £10 for a wristband. You really, you know... Wow. Even though it's not a lot of money, you still want to get your money's worth. Mm. It's a cheap festival. <laughs> yeah, it's all going to a good cause as well. That's the main thing. Isn't yeah, it? well, we're all volunteers. None of us get paid. Only the people right at the top of Oxfam get paid. So there's a core team of six of us this year, and they are just the most helpful people in the world. We've got about 150 volunteers, I think. But anyone else who wants to get involved, another another call out. If you'd like to volunteer, please get in touch via our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Oxfam Leicester Takeover. So we can use, you know, extra stage managers, bucket shakers, really cheerful people to keep us going if it rains, people to calm me down if it rains. You know. Well, cheerful people, that, that discounts you, Kevin. Then. Well, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you do need them. Um, volunteers are key, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Without, without volunteers, I mean, I'm, I'm a volunteer without none of this would be possible so as many people who want to help and the shifts can be anything from four hours to 14 hours so it does it does help even if you are just standing there shaking a bucket in someone's face and harassing them until they give you your money <laughs> and what about the money uh, obviously you're raising a lot of money can you explain where some of that money goes yeah i can well it's always it's it's always changing, so it depends whatever is the most important crisis that is happening on a global scale at that point. So around this time last year, a lot of the money was going out towards places like Syria, places that are war-torn, and of course we're trying to help the poverty state over in Africa significantly. So on the day, we will be having big posters up, so kind of breaking down where it all goes, so how much a goat is, a school book, things like that, so people can actually visualise and see where the money is actually going to go, instead of just thinking, oh, I'm just chucking it in a bucket and then that's it. It actually really does make a huge, huge yeah. difference, even if you put 20p in, that buys, that buys some grain, which yeah. is very important yeah. to a family who has nothing, so... Yeah, does it, it, get, it helps, it makes a huge difference, it really does. And there's a great atmosphere there as well, isn't there? Because like I went last year and each, each of the venues is quite nicely packed and everybody's just so friendly and all the bands are brilliant. <laughs> do, is, do you split the venues up um, by genre? We, we try to, in a way. Uh, so the Sound House is kind of more rocky this year. Uh, so speaking in italics, are headlining that for us before they head off on their UK tour. And then before that, we've got bands like Omaha, Super 73, The Bench That Rock, It's Beneath the Lights, like bands like that are a bit more rocky. Then The Exchange is a big mix of everything. We've got a bit of blues in there, indie, you know, we've got, got some ska music in there. It's a big, big Yeah, mix I think I was in a bar with lots of reggae music last year. So. Yeah, well... Alton Square was our main reggae star stage last year, but due to public demand, we've had to kind of dedicate a whole venue to it. So the shed this year, we're starting that off with pop punk and then moving it into ska punk, then having it mainly <laughs> ska and reggae in the evening. So the ska music will not finish early; it'll finish at like eleven or twelve. Ooh. Then ale wagon, that's quite folk, country kind of kind of area so it is a little bit split down by genre but there is a there is a crossover but you won't find any scar music in the sound house for instance and you won't no. find you know yeah you okay i'm just reminded of the dates again so people get it in their heads saturday 4th of october saturday 4th of october <laughs> saturday the 4th of october kevin you say it Saturday, 4th of October, yes. from midday. Yes, well, 11.45, technically, but same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Get there early. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you go. That's about uh, Ox Jam then coming up Saturday, the 4th of October. What was that na uh, lady's name again? Because I remember when we started the interview originally, you got it wrong. It's quite a... I did. It, a different sort of name, isn't it? It's got a posh one. Elizabeth Barker Carly. That's the it one. Is. And good luck to you, Elizabeth. I think she's flying over on her way to Malta at the moment yeah. to see her mum. Uh, quick news about the uh, local music show podcast, because we published our first podcast yesterday uh, based on the interviews we had last month. Mm. Uh, and we're going to be doing a weekly one now, so the lads here, they probably don't know this because we've got Dead Frequency in the studio, or two of them. Uh, they'll be out on a podcast 
uh, later this week. That's oh, exciting stuff, yeah. Uh, really? They're looking yeah. excited about yeah, that. They, they look pretty excited <laughs> as well, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so just talk about the podcast for a minute. Well, the first podcast that we released um, has got the Midbeats in it, the Furies, Scam and Elizabeth Cornish as well. So a good variation of local rock music and it's got all interviews from them as well as playing some of their own tracks, which is really, really good. I have to say, a bit of a classic. Some of my favourites in there. Um, and if you'd like to listen to it, you can go to our Facebook page page they're all on the facebook page there which is called local music show and the number one so if you go to that in facebook then there it'll all be because we got so much stuff we had to separate them into two podcasts didn't we because we got yes. podcast number two which contains that's right podcast number two has got the bench that rocks a local rock band young rock band actually and gj marshall and his electronic uh landscape scenes that he did without uh that was all all without vocals and uh, linear as well i think and linear as well coming up the rear and also grace petrie as well yeah she was good at um festival i went to yes yeah. local controversial singer songwriter so it's a really good variation i'm not sure about controversial i always think she is but perhaps not no it's because she knows billy bragg you always say that no <laughs> she, she's got poli- political that. views perhaps <laughs> which is really really good so. okay so they're available and we'll have a weekly one because we're going to do a weekly one now because we had to do a, a kind of catch up but it's much easier I spent all day putting that together yesterday. Sweat, sweat, sweat. <laughs> anyway, good evening to Dead Frequency. How are you Hi, doing? how's it going? Yeah, yeah not too bad. And uh, we've got um, uh, Matt e and uh, James in the studio. I saw you at Glaston Budget, of course, uh, last year, and you really rocked it. I had Thank such you. fun with you. And the story with you, Matty, is because you, you've got the kind of prodigy haircut. And prodigy uh, were due to play in the big top. Yeah. And I remember you arriving and me coming up to you say, I think you got the wrong place, wrong mate, didn't I? Yeah. 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 Uh, but obviously that's kind of your look, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I've, I've had this sort of thing going on for eight years now. Um, but yeah, I remember, I remember you saying, I think you're at the wrong, you're at the wrong tent, mate. And I thought... <laughs> I no, no. If I'm on the main stage, then yeah, let me go. But you know, I don't, I don't think I am. So, is, is that the only way you resemble Prodigy? Do you think, or I mean, like your music? Would you say that's? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. Is. Yeah, no, musically, yeah. it's it's different. You know, obviously, um, they've got a lot of the dance element yeah. in which we we don't tend to do. No, um, you're more punk. I yeah, but to be honest, I'd I'd say the one thing where we do sort of are quite similar and if if you know we're, if we're gonna say it, it they put on a really good live show yeah that's right it's really about, energetic because you yes. were very much about entertainment as well as music weren't yeah you, I it's yeah. Uh, for, i think for all of us it's half the battle you know fit you know most of the time when we're getting a new audience a new fan base it comes from the live show as opposed to the recorded um so 50 percent of it is entertainment Okay, uh, well, let's get uh, give people a clue as to your music then. This is a track I've played on the show before, actually. Uh, we'll hear it again. We've got three tracks to play. This is uh, Dead Frequency and a track called Your Love.
That's uh, Dead Frequency and uh, Your Love. You're listening to the local music show on Hermitage FM with John Sinclair and Kevin Gorn. And we've got a couple of the guys from Dead Frequency, Matty and James, in the studio. And we're just talking about that. It's a very poppy tune you've got there. And uh, you were saying for the video you had to probably do it hundreds of times. So I can see why you can get kind of tired of a song, but it is a really good tune, that, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. how many how many times did we do it that day? Oh, Countless. <laughs> it was a lot. It, it was, was a long lot. day. Yeah. But, um... But no, it's if if a song's good, um, and you know, I don't think we'd do a song unless we we enjoyed it. You know, that's the that's the basis of it. You know, if if you if you're not enjoying what you're doing, then then why are you doing it? Yeah, and you also know. doing that live must be quite good because it is very up tempo, and you can see the crowd getting into that as well, can't you? It's it's become sort of our it is our signature song at the moment at the sort of at the level that we are. Um, we've now moved it to the end of the set it's you know it's it's almost like your your first greatest hit sort of thing yeah, on, sure a, on a really small level yeah you know? make people wait for it yeah sort of thing. yeah exactly yeah. so uh, and the reason you're here of course is uh, next tuesday you've got your glaston budget audition for for next year yeah. um you've been through this process before of course so what's your what's your memories of doing the, the audition last time well we it was when did we do it? It was, it was August, wasn't it? It was. Last it was August? quite yeah, quite we, early on. Yeah, we yeah. got an early audition. Obviously, we wanted to get in early, with it being the tenth anniversary. Um, we knew that there would be a high volume of applications for it, which there were. Um, we got in. We you know we did everything we possibly could on the build up. We we hyped it as much as we could. Um, we got as many people up there as we possibly could as well. Um, and they just seemed to be really impressed with us, e- even to the point it, it said in the in the in the email beforehand, you know, n- no band gets an encore, you know, regardless of of how many people you bring or anything like that. And uh, they haven't got time, sort of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. So, and uh, we we went to walk off the stage, and uh, Kev, the guy at the shed, came up and said, "Guys, can you just can you play a few more songs for us?" You know, because the, <laughs> the guys are really the Glaston budget guys are really impressed. So that that was you know that told you what you'd been okay I think yeah I guess. yeah we but the ambition now is to try obviously you're on the stage that i was looking after the icon stage mm. but obviously the ambition now is to probably try and get in the big top is it yeah i think yeah yeah we said the big top this year we, you know when we put it forward this year obviously we came the good thing about this year is we came with some recommendation we came recommended from obviously yourself yeah. and um you know Again, Kev from the shed. The guy, he's he's brilliant. He's a, he's a great guy. And I I did send him an email and just said, look, could you could you put a word in for us? Um, it does help the case. You know, it's his birthday today, actually, isn't it? Well. Is it? Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday, Happy Kev. Birthday, if you're Kev. listening, yeah, yeah. <laughs> send him a text now. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, yeah. Just while. But um, but yeah. So sort of the intention is this year. We've it's it's stages. Uh, you know, we've I feel that we've sort of proven that we can do the job. Um, and hopefully now we can work on that and go up to the next... It's the next step, isn't it? It's the next level. Yeah, and I guess between now and then, you'll be working on songs and uh, new stuff. Is that going to be the case ahead of kind of next year? Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. we're recording, recording next Sunday. Yeah, week on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah. Going in, we're going into recording next Sunday. It's important you know when you record. Yeah, we do, yeah, 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 just so we turn up, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're recording next Sunday, so that will be sort of... And an addition to what we've already got, the desire for fire. It'll, it'll call it a deluxe edition if you want, <laughs> but uh, three, four tracks instead of three. But uh, that'll be to the end of the year. And obviously, at the moment, we are focusing. We're going to see the year out, and then start start from scratch. January, new set. Not not completely new. Obviously, yeah, that's yeah. you know. Um, but it will be some new songs, a few new gimmicks. Maybe some new gimmicks. That's yeah. always good. Yeah, it's always a good. Yeah, because uh, I like the way you, you, uh, Glastonbury. You came on. Uh, was it a thing from um, Formula One that you had on? Yeah, yeah, it, was, yeah it was. Yeah, the chain. Yeah, the yeah. chain, and then yeah, and then you come on last, don't you? The, being the lead singer, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's quite fun, isn't it? It is. It's it, it's it's an entrance. You know, you, I, I feel if you uh, if you come on like that, people already automatically go, oh, oh, here we go. We're makes in, them pay attention. Yeah, though. we're we're in for something now, and, and obviously we we cut the track between we we start playing it well james starts playing it from the yeah. what everyone sort of says is the, the formula one yeah theme tune but the actual the song is on beforehand you know so it it's us cutting into the song itself um and playing it from there and it works but again by next year it you could have changed it yeah, yeah something completely different you know uh, every now and then we will change the intro um to something different but and what about the history of the band? You've been, you, you guys, been together quite a long time now. Oh, it, 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 has this sort of long? It's been what 
16 <laughs> months? Yeah, six, 18 yeah, months. Not very 16, long, 18. No, no, it's not very long. I mean, what we achieved in the first year was was amazing, you know, the, the fact that we, we'd we managed to get something like Glaston Budget so early on. Um, and we were we were sort of an out-of-town band straight away, you know. A lot of bands, they build up a, a local following and they'll play yeah. in the town ag- again and again. And we were, we were sort of out-gigging London and places like that within the first six months, you know. We, we, we tended... And yeah, because yeah, you've constantly got dates at the moment, haven't you, all over the place? Yeah, yeah. We'll we're... talk about a particular one uh, in a bit because you've got a big one coming up. Yeah. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a bit. So uh, let's talk about the next song, uh, uh, Death Knives and Broken Lives. And thank you for giving me a radio edit version. No problem. <laughs> no problem. It's a slight naughty word yeah, in there. Yeah. But, um, uh, so this is quite an up-tempo song as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's sort of the only time that we become serious for a song. You know, we're not we're not the most serious of band. We don't have a, a real message to to bring across. I think you were saying earlier on about the the political singer you know we're, we're not that sort of band but every now and then there are subjects that need to be touched upon yeah, I think. The, ti- yeah. the title kind of gives it away doesn't it a bit, yeah, yeah yeah it was it was written when i was i was actually living in london at the time and uh you know i was i was seeing a lot of things that weren't weren't nice especially i'm i'm from exeter you know i'm from devon so a lot of the stuff that i, I saw you you yeah. don't expect it you know you don't see it when you're when you're younger you're and, used uh, to farmers and tractors and stuff i am yeah yeah and, and the wurzels <laughs> and stuff like that you know that's, that's, that's what we do but um but yeah, it was just touching on the more serious side. And I think it's nice every now and then to, to do mix that. it up, yeah. do something yeah. different. Okay, Dead Frequency then. This is Death Knives and Broken Lives. group is dead frequency that's death knives and broken lives and uh, we've got two of the band uh, matty and james uh in the studio uh, lots of energy in that uh before actually we, we uh, let's talk about this gig potentially uh, coming up at rock city because that's quite an exciting one for you isn't it just tell us about that yeah i mean do you want to do you want to tell them or? yeah yeah, go on, on, yeah should we yeah, go yeah. On, james. yeah we um 
we've been wanting to announce it for quite a long time. Um, there's a there's a ska punk band from the UK called Sponge. Um, they they were in the top forty and early two thousands. Yeah, yeah, early two thousands. Yeah, when what well, when we were growing up. Yeah, yeah, we feel old now. <laughs> so. um, and it's their twentieth anniversary this year. Now we played with them in Derby last year, um, and from that gig they they invited us to to come on the tour um obviously i did hassle them for quite a while beforehand <laughs> do your job. you know please can we, yeah. yeah please can we go on tour but um you know they said yes we, we got given the go ahead a while ago and uh the unfortunate thing is that the background work it's taken a while for everything to be confirmed and 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 that's still going on a little it, bit yeah it? it's still going going i mean you know i can confirm that we are on the tour um but nottingham rock city is definitely confirmed uh november the 16th supporting sponge um and like i said uh, assuming everything goes to plan you've got nove- november the 18th i've written down here sunday the 18th I think well, they took a while making up their minds, didn't they? Yeah, yeah they did. It's it's like sun- is, as long as it's the Sunday, it's <laughs> yeah, the Sunday yeah, yeah. nearest <laughs> to the sixteenth or the eighteenth. <laughs> <Sunday 16th>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, but yeah, that's going to be uh, that's going to be our first. So you're playing Rock City, but you're also doing lots of other dates with them around the country. Isn't yeah, it? you've got um, like I said, uh, there are a few that need to be confirmed. But yeah, uh, yeah, I know but for that's d- quite exciting, isn't it? It is. It's really it's our it's our first sort of proper tour, well, it, it's a tour isn't it yeah it's a bigger tour and um you know we're, we're going to be playing places that we've wanted to play since we were kids you so know? rehearsals ahead of that and stuff you'll Big be doing extra work on that one yeah yeah, yeah. there's going to be a uh, we've been thinking of it possibly a cover to tie in with it obviously we we don't necessarily fit as a ska band we're not a we haven't got the ska element to the, right. to the music so uh we'll work on something for that i think i think we might come up with something good but some of the venues we're playing uh we've wanted to play since you know since we were following bands especially bristol um being from exeter we, we don't get down that way often to play yeah, so bristol's yeah, going to yeah. sort of be the closest the closest it's going to get uh, i know i've got a, a lot of people coming up to the bristol gig for it but we're doing newcastle manchester you know birmingham london portsmouth yeah be good isn't it yeah it's going to be it's going to be brilliant Okay, and the songwriting process, is that kind of... Most bands have a phase when they tend to do it all together. Is that how it works for you, or is it kind of always ongoing and stuff like that? Yeah. Mm. Well, it, well it's, it's... It's you, isn't it? Yeah, I tend to... <laughs> it's you, is it? Yeah, I write, yeah. I write a lot of songs at home. I do, like, I write on my own. It's... Because for me, it's, songwriting's a personal thing. Um, and the only way you can really bring across your own feelings is if you... If it's coming from you. But, uh... I'll sort of bring a song idea into rehearsals um, and I'll say to the guys, look, this is this is what I've got, sort of the basic. OK, well, tell us about this, the song we're going to play now, Never Going to Fall in Love, because this is not what I thought it was about. No, I, I wrote I wrote this song, it's, it's nearly five, six years old now. Um, obviously, it only sort of came forward the last year or so, so essentially, so everyone else, it's a, it's a new song, it's fresh. Um, but I wrote it six years ago, and it, it was actually about sort of the music industry, and it's the the not-so-nice side uh, of the industry. Because you, know? you worked in it as a youngster, didn't you? I right? did, yeah, yeah, from from the age of 17, um, I did a bit. And uh, it, although it comes across as a just sort of your basic generic love song, um, it's actually to do with, you know it's it's not all it's cracked up to be um yeah so yeah if i mean if you know if you if you sort of have that in in mind and listen to the lyric, lyrics you you sort of go oh actually yeah that does it does make sense it does okay. match up let's hear it now don't want to stop i do what i do best if that means losing you you fit in with the I've had enough, this ain't no stupid game I put my trust in you Cause this is what we do So face it, you are so wrapped up inside your own world Complications are now coming true You would, you know, you stand the things I've heard, yeah That's why I'm never gonna fall in love with you Well, invisible, 
There you go. That's uh, never going to fall in love from Dead Frequency. Thanks very much for coming in. We've got to kick you out quickly because we've got another programme coming on. No problem. But it's good to see you and your Glaston Budget audition yep. uh, next week at the Shed uh, on about quarter past nine. Yeah, that's right, yeah. On and there's, a, there's another band playing called Celtic Fish. Awesome band as well. Okay, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. Thank